are you optimistic about this latest iteration of redevelopment? Or will, or will we have the same conversation in 20 years? We might. I'm optimistic with the caveat that we probably will have a conversation about this 20, 30, 40 years. I think these new uses are relying on a network of economic activities that are uh, bigger than just one site. Like downtown and the geography around it is healthier and more investment is landing collectively. That gives us a stronger context. That didn't happen in 1985. Um, but I think the nature of investment, of capital, money likes new things. And even if this use continues, someone, it'll, it'll decline a little bit, it'll, get, it'll lose the luster, and someone will want to put more money into it again, even if it's to keep it in the same use, or to do something else with it. There's no building that cannot avoid the cycle of maintenance and changing uh, economies. So um, that's why preservation isn't just about doing it once. It's about long-term sort of education about the value of a building like this so that it doesn't matter what it becomes. The love for this building, the appreciation of this architecture is constant. I thank you for your time. That was awesome. I think the thing that was most fascinating that you said was that of all the plans, demolition was never one for this building. Isn't that fascinating? That's yeah, good. Michael Allen, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Casey. Appreciate it. All right.